Assalamu alaikum guys. Today in this short video lecture, I would like to guide you about how to calculate quantity of cement, sand and aggregate in the construction of beam, column and slab in RCC members. So therefore watch this video till the end to know about estimation of different materials. So if this video is helpful for you, so you may like this video. Remember guys, the first one is column, beam and the second one is column and the last one is slab. You can see its diagrams and its section. First of all, I will guide you. We will use M20 grade concrete which ratio is 1 ratio 1.5 ratio 3 sum of ratio become 5.5. So in this ratio we will find estimation of cement, sand and aggregate. So the first one is beam. Guys, this is beam. Size of the beam is 9 by 12 inches. This is X section and this is long section. So the span between are the span or uh, you can say the length of the beam is 15 feet. So first of all, I will find the volume of beam. Then we will find its different materials. So step number one, volume of beam. Okay. So here depth of the beam multiply width of the beam multiply length of the beam so guys you can see depth of the beam is 12 inches which is one feet i will convert it to the feet and width is nine inches so convert it to the feet so it become 0 0.75 feet and length is 15 feet you can see so first of all i will find its volume so when you do its calculation so the volume of this beam is 11.25 CFT cubic feet okay so now let me convert it to the dry volume because normal volume of concrete increased okay when we convert it to the dry material so it increased 54 percent so therefore dry volume is equal volume of beam multiply 1.54 this one okay so when you do its multiplication so you will get the total volume dry volume of concrete in this beam that is 17.32 safety okay so this is volume of concrete this one dry volume now guys let me guide you for quantity of cement so how many cement is required to complete this beam or to construct this beam as you know guys we have some of ratio 5.5 and m20 grade concrete is m20 means this is the characteristic strength of concrete after 28 days so it means this is 20 newton per mm square this is the strength of concrete after 28 days so remember this point okay so therefore quantity of cement so one part is cement divided by total ratio which is 5.5 so divided by 5.5 multiply dry volume so when you do its calculation so we require 3.14 safety so therefore guys let me convert it to the cement bags because this is safety cement and safety okay in volume now let me convert it to the cement bag so remember when you convert to the bag so one bag of cement is uh, one bag cement remember this point one bag cement is equal 1.22 CFT so this is volume of one bag cement and which is is equal 50 kg okay so this is very important to know so therefore divide this by 1.22 so we require 2.56 cement bags so say we require three bags of cement so very simple now let me guide you for quantity of sand so 1.5 parts are sand so 1.5 divided by 5.5 multiply dry volume which is 17.32 so when you do its calculation so we required 4.72 safety in the construction of this beam so this is the volume of cement now let me uh, find the volume or quantity of aggregate so three parts are aggregate so three divided by sum of ratio 5.5 multiply dry volume so this is the volume of aggregate which is 9.44 safety okay 
same situation you can use or same system you can use for the construction of column so first of all you will find the area of this column then multiply with height it means we required so this is a square because this is square column so this is column okay so square column so s side multiply side square multiply height it means 0.75 multiply 0.75 multiply height is 11 feet so from this you will find the volume of column okay because when you convert inches to the feet so 9 inches equal 0.75 multiply 0.75 multiply height of the column is 11 feet so you will find the volume of this column so you can use the same procedure okay to find the estimation of cement sand and aggregate same guys you can see this is rcc slab so its width is 12 feet length is 15 feet and its depth or thickness is 6 inches or 0.5 feet so you can uh, find uh, width multiply so volume is equal width multiply length multiply thickness okay so this is very easy so width is 12 feet length is 15 feet thickness is 0.5 feet so from that you will find the volume so when you find the volume so same you will convert it to the dry volume from that dry volume you will find the quantity of cement sand and aggregate as i discussed in the construction of beam as you can see so hope this short video can help you how to calculate quantity of cement sand and aggregate for different rcc members thanks for watching see you in next video goodbye